thank you all for joining. I think we'll start. It's three minutes past nine. So let's start off. So if at all possible, whoever can turn on your videos, please do turn on your videos because that will help to keep this a little more interactive and you know, learning can be much better. So please do that if at all possible. And why do we do this meeting? It is to basically challenge each one of us to uh, look at growing our business 10x. How can we keep thinking of doing something new, connecting with each other, networking with each other, learning from each other and keep growing our business? So that's the objective behind these meetings that we keep, these short meetings that we keep. And we focus mainly on the Pathfinder businesses, somebody who has already come out of the treadmill operator, but trying to you know, scale up from a particular level. So that's the uh, kind of uh, uh, businesses that we are trying to target. And I have also mentioned what are the other uh, businesses what should they be looking for you know mentoring advising but we are looking at the bgsm for pathfinder kind of businesses and how did it all start about three years uh sorry five years back I, I was talking to a couple of my friends it went out really well and then that's how this entire thing started and now we have more friends coming together and trying to help each other in learning and growing okay there's a portal which will get activated soon it's already there if you just go to bacommunity.me it's already available but we are not using it so hopefully we should do that soon and there's a tool also we'll be doing that soon okay now coming to the which part are we focusing if you see these numbers these are the numbers of topics that we have covered like one topic on marketing one topic on customer uh, uh, then four to four topics on team today we are coming to systems now, honestly, I don't know whether to classify today's as systems or some other, but maybe by the end of the meeting, I'll know better because probably Mr. Dinesh would have covered a lot of because ChatGPT can do a lot of things. So let's let's see what will happen by the end of it. Okay, there's a WhatsApp group where you can share. Uh, if you're part of the uh, admin only group, please let me know. I'll send you the link and you can join a group where you can share about your business. You can put some posters, ask for referrals, anything. So there's a group like that. So please let me know if you're not part of it. Yeah, so chat GPT for business, the format is first, um, so Dinesh will be sharing for a few minutes his his thoughts and whatever he would like to teach us. And then after that, we all can share, you know, whatever we know, additional to what um, Mr. Dinesh has said, and also ask some questions to each other. So Mr. Dinesh can answer if he's, if he's uh, ha has, you know, information about that, or any of us can answer that. So this will be the uh, f format in which we will be covering the next few minutes. So over to Mr. Dinesh Sabnani, who is Lead up Management Training Institute. He is also associated with Microsoft, a very senior uh, team member there. He's also part of BNI. That's how, in fact, uh, we got in touch with each other. Uh, he was part of the international uh, national conference, Indian national conference, and then we got connected through that group. And that's how we've been in touch for quite some time now. And really happy that uh, uh, Mr. Dinesh agreed to take up this session on ChatGPT for business. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Dinesh. Over to you. So nice of you, Thomas. Thank you so much uh, for this lovely introduction. And uh, and as you just rightly mentioned, right, what is chat GPT? Even I am still figuring out. Okay, it's is it a system? Is it a friend or is it an assistant? I am still myself figuring out what exactly it is can do. Uh, I hope you can see my screen. Just yes. confirm that, yes. please. Yes, yes. yes. Perfect. So, friends, uh, I'm Dinesh, and uh, Thomas just introduced me. Uh, I have been associated with Thomas from past one year, and we have done a lot of uh, things together. Uh, recently, I caught up with something new in ChatGPT, and I shared that with the group, and which coined this particular session. Okay, and I and I'm privileged to be uh, part of this and presenting this to you. Now, thinking of ChatGPT, right? Uh, we all must have used it in in some capacity, right? Since it is launched, uh, uh, currently the version which is up and running on the ChatGPT.com is ChatGPT 3.5, right? And it's quite useful for us for our day to day life that we have been doing. But if we being all business owners, right? what things we can do with chat gpt to improvise our business as thomas rightly mentioned uh, is it a system is it a friend is it an assistant uh, we it, we can give any any name to this right now at this point in time because i have experimented so many things in chat gpt as of now and i have explored so many things now what business scenarios which i can think of uh, chat gpt can support here right now 
I just list out few use cases for the matter of discussion over here. Number one is to retrieve and research on any information. If you, for your business, if you have anything which you don't know, right? And you have a question in your mind, right? Just form a question and that becomes a prompt. Okay, we, uh, we, we today say that we have to learn prompt engineering. I would say it's a basic skill of asking precise questions. If your question is precise and you think that you don't know this, ask that precise question to chat GPT and that itself becomes a prompt. Okay, we know, and people say prompt should not be more than 10 words, prompt should not be more than 20 words. There are articles written on how much the size the prompt should be. I would say if your precise thought with whatever you have, if it it's a paragraph, give it to chat GPT and it can give you the right answer. Okay, so it's all personalized tool. The way you react, chat GPT will react for you right and if you want to retrieve any information you say it now in business we learn new stuff every day there is something new which is coming right today i coined a thing that in marketing can i do something different right i just wrote in chat, chat GPT, can you help me to improve my marketing skills for my business which is a management training institute with the name of lead up i just recently started this and i want to help people uh, to uh, increase their business acumen, to make managerial skilled force. I just gave that and it gave me 10 ideas. I could not even think of those ideas in my mind, but it gave me rightly what I exactly wanted to know, right? And that was one of the untouched territory, right? In business we do, there are seven, eight functions that we normally manage, right? Your marketing, your sales, your uh, your HR, your uh, um, L&D, uh, uh, your team, and you, you have customers, you have your lead generations, what not things you do, right? But there would be some things which you have not touched so far. So any untouched area, if you want to start and plan for it, right? Sometimes we don't know how to plan for it. We, we are completely blank about it. So write that thing to chat GPT and it can give you the answer for that, right? And similarly, that plans, whatever untouched it is, you can make them into strategic business plans and models and execute them. So any kind of tailored information that you want to know, uh, which you are not able to find with uh, today's search engines, same thing can be easily done using ChatGPT, right? The, the very prominent scenario, which we all must have used, that is creating a business content. For example, marketing content or AI images. It is so basic in today's time that if you want to really create a post in LinkedIn, right? Say that you want to create a LinkedIn post for something you want to share, and this is the basic crux of it. It gives you the exact LinkedIn post. It does not even increase a word. It gives you with emojis with hashtags. Now imagine you don't have to change anything in that. If you want to just add your name to it, you add your name to it. But apart from that, sometimes you never really have to change anything. It gives you the exact LinkedIn post that you need to have. Same you can use with WhatsApp. Yes, same you can use with um, uh, Instagram or Facebook. Uh, if you want to create AI images, there are tools right now which you can, which they can give you AI images. Dali, which is one of the tools which I predominantly use. Um, Canva has a built-in function to create uh, AI images. They are little uh, here and there sometimes, but if you give a right context that I want to really give, I want to have this kind of image where you need, uh, let's say Asian faces, uh, sitting in a grass, having an elephant behind, whatever you imagine in your extreme thoughts, write them into words and paste it in ChatGPT or paste it in Dali or paste it in Canva it gives you the exact image, right? Second last one, summarization. This one I have used extensively in my office. <clears throat> we use uh, uh, all Microsoft products and we have Copilot in that, right? So, and there are so many chat groups, conversational groups, uh, uh, teams where the chatting is going on. Let's say I have been absent for seven days, right? I've been for a vacation, I came back right? Scenario is I want to read through all the emails. I want to read through all the conversations that what things have happened in past seven days so that I come to know in gist, right? I just put a prompt, summarize the 
emails which I have received in the last seven days. That's it. It gives me 10 pointer that it reads everything. It gives me 10 pointer. These are the things which have happened. And these are the actions that you have to take. These are the members that you have to reach out for any additional information. It gives me direct action plan what I have to execute right on a day uh, when I join the office back, right? And the last one, which I recently tried, and I'll give you a small demo also, is introspection and interviews, right? Uh, I am a coach, right? I'm a project management coach, and I wanted to uh, help my clients with better service. That was the only intention I had, right? And uh, and most of the most of my clients are like they're they're into their learning phase, they're learning project management, or they are they are creating more plans in project management, or uh, they they need some kind of more inputs, what tools and techniques we can use to solve a certain problem, right? I created a custom GPT for them, and I'll show you how to uh, do that as well and how I did, uh, but. I created a custom GPT for them specifically for business owners, entrepreneurs to create strategic plans. And I also create a custom GPT for project management interviews. So I created a conversational bot itself within GPT so that it it's easy for me to know who, who my client is, what exactly they, uh, they know and what they don't know so that I can guide them better. Right. So I'll just show you one more stuff here, uh, which is new GPTs. Like if you want to explore new GPTs, how you can do that. Right. And I'll sh uh, showing my browser over here. So this is normal website, which is chatgpt.com. Right. You all can access this. But if you have a normal license, right, if you don't have a, a, a upgraded license, right, you must be able to see my GPT over here. Right. If you go to my GPTs, it gives you an option to create your own GPT. And this option is enabled when you have a plus a subscription. Right. So I just recently took a plus subscription. It comes for $20 a month. Uh, I just took that and I started creating my custom GPTs. But if you need a specific information from that GPT, not from a generic chat GPT, but from, let's say, a specific information that you want to know, you have custom GPTs written by companies, by coaches, by, by creators for solving specific problems, right? For example, if you see the topics are Kayak, if you want to, uh, the Kayak has created their own GPT. Instead of you go to Kayak website uh, and uh, talk to their bot, you can be inside GPT, use Kayak GPT, right and plan your flights hotels and cars you can even do that here right you can write your resume there's moment chat there's science space what are the trending one is image generator we just talked about it this is not dali this is created by naf Al alota bhai it's a custom gpt created by an individual he used prompt engineering to set a gpt rules in such a way so that it creates better images what other GPTs can do. So these are services that now you can create for from your business standpoint as well, right? Let's say you are in a business of uh, solution development and you want to get a requirement of the customer. You can create an introspection bot to get the exact requirement from the customer as well. You can prompt it in such a way. These are the prominent ones which are uh, released by ChatGPT themselves. Okay, so DALI is image generator, data analyst, writing coach, hot modes, coloring book hero, planty. These are the custom GPTs created by ChatGPT themselves. It's the company's their own thing. And what you see over here is the GPT store, right? Like how we have app store where apps are listed. You can create your own GPTs and list them on the GPT store here as well. Some of them are on the writing space. Like you can humanize AI, uh, write for me, AI humanizer, copywriter, GPT. Productivity side, we have Canva. So canva.com is separate. Canva GPT is separate. So here the instruction can go to Canva and Canva can get you images right on the GPT window itself. You can create videos, you can create diagrams, you can create PDFs as well. Research and analysis, Scholar GPT, Scholar AI, Consensus, Excel. I have used this Consel G Excel GPT. It gives you all the power, like what things you can do with Excel. Everything is uh, in gist, you can get it. 
on the education side we have so many on the lifestyle side we have so many on the programming side so this is the prominent thing which we all have heard right uh, uh, how to write a code in any space if you want to write a code you can have all that over here so i'll just go to an another window and i'll show you how i created the gpt so here you see my gpts are listed over here one of them is lead up gpt which is for entrepreneurs and one is project manager interview bot which i just created uh, let me bring up that window it's on another subscription Here it is. So as soon as I go to my GPTs, this is my another subscription. Here I get a uh, option to create my own GPT, right? If I click on that, you can create it in a conversational way itself by talking to GPT builder, right? Uh, you don't need to know what exactly the fields are that you have to populate. You can just talk to GPT to create a new GPT. Okay, it's like robot creating a robot for you, right? Or if you know all the uh, options, you can name the GPT, you can put a description. And here is the window where you will add all your prompts. What your GPT should do, how it has to behave, how it uh, and what it should avoid doing. So you have all the three cases, right? So if then else all three cases are listed over here in a conversational way. Uh, you can say don't use bad words it will not use bad words if you want to say use bad words you can say you, it will use bad words so you can do anything the way you want it right and these are starters so uh, for example uh, if i just say uh, regola it uh, it's a bot for clients for software development and I can say here, uh, this GPT should ask requirement questions for creating a software. It should ask only three questions. It should not give any solutions. So, obviously you don't want to give solutions right in front of the line right so you can say that as well and next uh, uh, it should be uh, based on uh, ai dot uh, net uh, and cloud technology so i've just given these two lines for the matter of fact uh, what is so i can write like what is your requirement that is my conversation right one more i can say uh in how many days you need how many days you need this software right and if you see on the right hand side the gpt is getting created it's a preview okay and i just put these two lines and let's see how it reacts okay i say hi <clears throat> how can i assist you with your software requirements today okay it is asking Rizula IT uh, that uh, Rizula IT is asking what are the software requirements. Um, I need a CRM to manage WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. So now it's asking more questions. Okay. Right. Instead of giving right solution, instead. It's asking more question. What specific features you need? Uh, are there any particular integration or technologies you want? Or do you uh, have any specific preferences for deployment that is cloud-based on-premises or scalability requirements? So now Rizula bot is almost done, right? Now Rizula can put their approach by writing instructions over here and create their own inquiry bot. So right in front of you, there is an inquiry board sitting in front of you of Rizola and anybody can do this. You just have to create a subscription uh, like you have to buy a subscription, which is $20 a month. And the advantage here is you can create n number of GPTs for any one requirement. Also, you can create one GPT for that. You can create a GPT for cloud based solution. You can create a GPT for AI solution. You can create a GPT for dot solution. You you name it, you have it. 
So I recently created an interview bot, a project manager interview bot. I'll just show that to you. And it says, let's start an interview. What levels of uh, are there? What topics? And will I get a feedback? Okay. So I'll say hi. And it says, are you ready for a project management interview? Please let me know if you prefer a beginner level or advanced level interview. And minimum questions, how many you want to attempt? Minimum is five. So I'll say beginner. And let's say two. Our minimum question is five. Would you like to proceed with five? So, okay. I did not code anything. I just gave the instruction. Okay. It automatically catches the input is wrong. Okay. So then I say, okay, beginner five. Okay. Let's get started. So now it will ask me questions one by one. Okay, it will not ask me all the five questions at a time. It will ask me questions one by one. So I'll say a project life cycle. So I can say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Dinesh, you think uh, so, we're running short of time? You've got two more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so this is a bot which I have created. I just want to show that to you, right? And uh, going back to my PPT, right? Uh, where I wanted to show you what scenarios you can achieve, right? And you can, uh, I'll send you the links uh, of the GPTs which I have created. You guys can use that. Uh, one is the lead up GPT. It is for entrepreneurs. And second one is the project manager interview bot. You can tailor that bot to hire a project manager also. So here it my my instruction was to assist uh, somebody who was preparing for the interview, but I can change the instructions for you to hire a project manager and you can first put a bot in front of the candidate and then go for the uh, for the actual uh, interview. So yeah, that was my time. I just wanted to introduce all these topics to you and I hope this session was useful for everybody. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dinesh. That was quite uh, helpful. Since we are running short of time, what I'll do is I'll read one of the questions that uh, Manju has put in the chat. So her uh, question is basically, the, what will happen to content writers, spe especially in digital marketing? Is there upper hand for human minds? So that's her question. So it, it's, a, it's slightly subjective how you see it. Right. I mean, if we see it uh, positively, then yes, this tool is going to help a lot uh, to all the kind of creators, marketing guys or any professions. Uh, it's a one extended hand that you have got for help of anything that you need and get it done. Uh, but yeah, the another thing here, what I think what Manju is trying to ask is, mm -hmm. is about ethical AI here. Mm -hmm. The topic is actually leading to that, right? Mm -hmm. So the answer to that is AI can only give its inputs, right? The mm -hmm. final decision will always be taken by a human. And that is structured and co coded in chat GPT or any other AI assistant, which is part of an ethical AI framework. Here. Yeah. One more thing is, I think, uh, see, uh, the one more way I look at it is, chat GPT basically takes from history. So if there has been a marketing uh, write-up or, or a tagline or something in the past 100, 200 years, wherever it has been captured into chat GPT, that is what it takes as reference and puts it to in the front. So if you, if you may ask chat GPT to create something entirely new, I'm not sure if, if that intelligence is already there in uh, chat GPT and, uh, but they are trying to build those kind of things, you know, super intelligent chat GPTs and all this. So maybe up, upcoming versions may create something which is not even there in the past. Like as humans, we can do that when we see nature and when we see things and uh, our feelings and emotions, we can come out with marketing taglines, which probably has never been told in the past and which might be very relevant, very catchy right now. But ChatGPT probably cannot achieve that kind of a feat as of now. Maybe in future they can attempt. So that's a question. So hopefully, Manju, you, you've got it answered. I have a few questions. I know others also have questions. Uh, if you have anything, uh, just raise your hand. I'll I'll come to you uh, in the in the uh, you know in in Zoom. One question I have is see when when we type this uh, Dinesh, like let's say I'm taking this test and I'm typing, will you be able to see the replies like? Then, then how will you know what no. the project management person has typed? How will you know that? So there are ways to capture here. Yeah. I would say what I can do is, and I and it is my blind idea, 
okay i can say to gpt as instructions whatever responses that you have got capture them into a ppt and give it to me for a download it can do that i think uh, okay. because yeah, i i okay i am yet to try I yes but that. there are uh, there are cus uh, custom gpts mm -hmm. to create mm -hmm. a content Understood. okay like okay. i need a ppt so today only i was thinking give mm -hmm. me business scenarios in a ppt format Understood. for what okay. all things you can do with chat gpt it gave me a ppt with five slides and everything whatever i wanted to talk about it was there i just needed to massage it that's it <laughs> so i i do not need to prepare for this uh, thing as well but yeah i still went up with my own content but yeah ready made content is also available yeah got it okay yeah uh, brother sajan you wanted to ask some question uh yes thank you uh, my name is sajjan uh, i am from learn lifelong company based in uh, bangalore and i am into training and coaching uh, focused on teens and young adults primarily helping them with life purpose and holistic education uh the, the thank you dinesh for uh, sharing this wonderful second level or next level <laughs> of the gpt you know so uh, it, it is really helpful and insightful and uh, i could learn a lot and then uh, the question i mean i, I basically uh, i i just it's, it's a follow up question that uh, i think manju asked uh, what i understood okay. from her question is that like many of most of the fear around everyone is that ai is taking over uh, people you know in the sense uh, in their in their job opportunities in their you know for example yes. whether it is content writer whether it is designers you know whether it is creative uh, you know creative personals and things like that so that way one way of looking at it as you mentioned uh, is to see it as a helping hand you know w what do you see is there really any negative effect on it on uh, different kinds of professions and things like that what do you think see the service has been uh, tremendously improved right and uh, who is not in the world who doesn't know chat gpt everybody knows so even us also before giving work to anyone else we first try to figure out either you go to google or you go to chat gpt can i do that thing myself right this is the uh, nature of how we humans react right but do you uh, do you want to delegate that work that is something we have to ask ourselves right and uh, if you are able to do it can you manage it for a longer run right uh, because everybody has their own profession to do here right and before i was like i am also a coach and i take mock interviews right uh, and i was before i creating the bot for a project manager bot, uh, interview i was also thinking mai mera kaam hi kaat raha hu yahan pe but i thought like no let me give that service because uh, anybody who before coming to me will go to 10 other places will always go to chat gpt that is a predominant thing right and how the businesses actually react towards the situation so why not i only create a bot service and give it as a helping hand so that if they really want to brush up their skills and come after they get prepared and come for a live interview then they can take my services and now i can increase my charge because i gave them my helping hand also i gave them my ai helping hand as well which is the best in class service right there is nothing else beyond ai in today's time and now i am giving you my own service which where i can now i can double down on my charges as well so this is way i thought okay okay got it yeah that's a good way of looking at it thank you so sure thank you very much we have 6 minutes more uh, anyone would like to ask any one more question i think we can take so you said connecting with email so you are talking about something that's microsoft integrated part is it where it reads your emails that's what you mentioned okay yes 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 so we so every uh, product in microsoft hmm. has a copilot button even hmm. in internet explorer also you will see a copilot button Correct. now right yeah. so you have to click on that button and the ai assistant starts on the right hand side Okay, so okay. if your ai assistant is within outlook it yeah. can read all the outlook messages and okay. summarize it for you yeah. so it is context driven uh, so you have or let's say you have opened a document a word document 
right? And it is like hundred page document. Mm -hmm. You open a co-pilot within that word document and say summarize the content in this. It will summarize it for you. Summarize it. Under yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. okay. Yeah. Now I'm clear. Okay. I thought maybe I can use ChatGPT to connect with my. I know I use Postgator for my emails. Whether I can do that or not. So that's why I was like little thinking. Okay. You can do that as well. Let's yeah. say if you don't want to use Copilot, you want you, you go to ChatGPT. It will ask you to upload the document for summarization. Completely and then summarize. So there is a. Exactly, it can do that as well. Understood. Thank you. So I Radha think Mr. Radha Krishna have a yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, are there any limitations and risks in using chat GPT? And if so, how is that taken care of? Limitations in the sensor? Like is there any risk area? and limitation? Risk and limitation using the chat. But for example, uh, does it understand the language or uh, the, 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 the moral aspects, ethical aspects? Like, is there any offensive thing that comes? Does it filter for that? If there's any content that is not, uh, you know, likable? does it take yeah, care of those yeah, aspects yeah. It, it takes care of those aspects right so okay. there is a framework uh, which is called as ethical ai framework and there are i i don't have that in my top of my mind but there are five elements which are taken care always before any ai agent replies to any question or give any output Okay. okay, and that is a framework which is set uh, by by AI associations, and I read that thing in my AI nine hundred certification. Uh, oh. I got certified Microsoft certification on AI nine hundred. In that, everything is mentioned about ethical AI part. Yeah, so even if we are also creating our own LLM. Let's say beyond chat GPT, there are elements we can create. The application of our own LLM should be catering to those elements of ethical AI. And that is predominant. Like we have to do that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we thank have you. three more minutes left. So we'll just summarize and close. So uh, thank you very much, Dinesh, for this. It was quite interesting. And if you have anything more that you would like to share in upcoming meetings, so please do let me know. You can take more sessions about this because these are topics that all as business owners, we all have to you know, be updated with. So thank you very much. And please do invite your friends for upcoming meetings. And if you would like to share something, you know that we all can be benefited with. So please let me know. You can take up upcoming sessions. And uh, there are other support systems also. These are books that I recommend for people who are starting their business and who would like to scale up. And these are businesses, uh, books that I would recommend if you would like to have a sneak peek into how very large and, uh, you know, legacy companies are are, are have been built over a period of time and uh, so that's it for today please share any questions apart from this you know please uh, share uh, in uh, the group uh, so that we we all can uh, you know uh, help each other out answer uh, you know whoever knows can answer it okay so uh, Dinesh has said something guiding principles for responsible AI include fairness reliability and safety privacy and security, inclusiveness, transparency, and accountability. Okay, so these are the five different... Yes, I was models. talking about the ethical AI. So they call it as responsible AI, and they have to cater to these principles before creating any AI application. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for your time. Hopefully, this was a good session. Thank you, Dinesh. It was really, I, I, I learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. And have a great, uh, good night and a great week ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.